we can equate this to the to its counterpart in experiment 3 which is 4.6 into 10 to the power of minus 1 over 0 0.15 to the power of 1 because m is equal to 1 so 0 0.5 1 5 to the power of 1 into 0 into uh, it's not 0 sorry it will be into 1 to the power of n so now when we bring the n terms to one side it will be 1 to the power of n over 0 0.5 to the power of n which is equal to 4.6 into 10 to the power of minus 1 into 0 0.1 cross multiplication is that's what I'm doing right now over 1.53 into 10 to the power of minus 1 into 0 0.15 so when I can on my left hand side uh, I can take the power of n common so 1 over 0 0.5 is equal to 2 so this becomes 2 to the power of n which is equal to when I do this on my calculator when I solve this I get rounded off to 2 so now even n is equal to 1 because 2 to the power of 1 is 2 so two, uh, so n, n, n is also equal to 1 so the overall rate equation that we get is rate is equal to AUCL3 concentration of AUCL3 to the power of 1 multiplied by the concentration of H2O2 to the power of 1. So in both these cases the reaction is first order with respect to the reactant. It is first order with respect to AUCL3 and it is first order with respect to H2O2 because both are raised to the power of 1 and the overall order is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 the overall order of reaction is, e is 2 now uh, if you can see the coefficient of AUCL3 was 2 but it is raised to the power of 1 and the coefficient of H2O2 is 3 and even that is raised to the power of 1 so it really does not depend on the coefficient in the rate equation uh, it cannot go beyond the order cannot go beyond the coefficient but it does lim limit itself uh, to 1 over here in this case it, it can be any value it can be 2 and 3 as well but in this case it is not but it can however it is not necessary that it will be um, it will be the, co the, the coefficient in the stoichiometric equation the co I forgot the k over here I'm sorry about that so uh, I'm really sorry so yeah we have k but yeah what you need to do is that um, you need what you need to know is that this can be raised to any power as you calculate in this case it's one and for this reaction it will be one both raised to the power of one but uh, so you need to know that uh, it is not necessarily the stoichiometric coefficient so don't get confused uh, it will only be what you calculate so uh, what we calculated over here was one so for this reaction in which AuCl3 reacts with H2O2 to form gold, oxygen and hydrogen chloride the rate equation is this and it will always stay this for this particular reaction it will always be the same rate equation and uh, let's talk a little about the value of K now so K is a constant but it is a constant at a particular temperature so as temperature will increase we know that rate increases so this tells us that, that as temperature increases K increases because the concentrations will remain the same despite the increase in temperature the rate will increase so the only thing that can increase is K so as temperature increases the rate constant increases so rate constant is only a constant for a particular temperature so now we have done this as well now let's move forward so let's do an exercise only one question on order of reaction so nitrogen monoxide NO reacts readily with oxygen uh, 2 NO gas plus O2 gas gives 2 NO2 gas and the table shows how the initial rate of this reaction at 25 degrees Celsius depends on the initial concentrations of the reactants so now as you can see they have mentioned the temperature which means that we will use the rate constant K at this particular temperature so reduce the order of reaction with respect to each reactant explain your reasoning so let's write our general rate equation so rate 
is equal to concentration of